This is Unit 8, Aryan Volume, Lesson 8.6, Pyramids and Cones. Please make note of both the location, the date and time that you are watching this. Don't forget to get a parent signature or teacher sign off. Let's do a review problem. Remember, we're going to follow these six steps. Shade, trace, perimeter, base, equations, circle plug, chug. So step one, we're going to shade and trace the bases. The bases, there's two of them. They're congruent and they're parallel and they're connected by rectangles only. So that would force this and this to be our bases. So we're done with shading and then we're going to trace our bases. Okay, now we're going to find the perimeter of our base. The perimeter equals, we're just going to walk it around. This edge length is 20. And then walk this back. We can see here that's 16 and 12. So you're going to go 20 plus 16 plus 12. 20 plus 16 is 36. 2 more is 38. That's going to be 48. Let's check our units. Kilometers. Now the area of our base. Area, we have a right triangle here. Let me pull one of them out. This is 16 and 12. And the area of this base, the base area, I'm going to use a capital B here, is leg times leg over 2. So we're going to go 12 times 16 over 2. 2 goes in here 8 times, 12 times 8. 10 times 8 is 80. 2 times 8 is 16, so we get 96, and now it's kilometers squared. And that's our base. So this is our P, this is our B. So in our equations, when we need P, we're going to use 48. When we need the area of the base, we're going to use 96. Now the equations, whoops, it says for a cylinder should be a prism. They're pretty much the same thing for volume lateral area and surface area. Lateral area is going to be perimeter times the height. Surface area is whatever the lateral area is plus the area of, in this case, two bases. And then our volume is just area of the base times the height. Now let's clarify. Once again, height is distance between the bases. So height here is going to be 20. It's distance between the bases. Now we circle plug chug. So our perimeter, circle that. Come up here, perimeter, and we get 48 times circle height. The height here is 20. We're going to do 48 times 20. 48 times 2 is 96. Add a 0, we're going to get 960 kilometers squared. That's our LA. You want to label it. Okay, now surface area is the lateral area. So come over here, circle it, draw a little arrow like there. And we're going to plug it in now. Our lateral area, 960 plus 2, and we need the area of two bases. And we already have those, which is 96. 96 goes there. So we're going to go 960 plus... 96 plus 96, and we get 1,152. This is our SA, our surface area, and it's going to be kilometers squared because it's area. Last one, circle base. We have the area of the base right there, 96. Circle height, 
Our height is the distance between the bases. That's 20. So we're going to do 96 times 20. And we get 1,920. And then watch your units. That's going to be kilometers cubed. That's our volume. So that's a recap of what we did last class. Remember, you're going to follow these steps. Shade, trace, perimeter, base, equations, circle, plug, chug. Today we're going to move into pyramids and cones. Pyramids and cones. Now they have some things that are related to prisms and cylinders and some things that are different. The pyramid and cone family. Vocabulary words. Obviously base and face, cone, pyramid. These are the two key words. I need you to star them. Slant height and true height. They are not the same thing. It is your job to be able to explain what is the difference between those two. Pyramid and cone family. Definition of a pyramid. You have one base with triangular triangles connecting to a single vertex. So to draw them, you start with that single vertex. There's your vertex. And now we just connect to the vertex with triangles. And this back edge, you want to dot. So just corner up to vertex. So here, the first three are pyramids, of course, and then you have your cone on the far right. They share similar properties. That's why we study them together. As a recap, prisms and cylinders have two bases. Pyramid cones only have one base. The faces are joined to a single point called the vertex. Okay, now we're going to explain the difference between something called slant height and something called true height, also known as altitude. On the left, you see a, a photo of what's called the Mutart Conservatory in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I've actually been there. I have family in Edmonton. And they are a planetarium and plants inside this giant greenhouse shaped as a pyramid. Now this pyramid has two different kinds of heights and you have to be able to visualize this. There is a height that goes up the face of the pyramid. I'd like you to trace this with me. Okay, there's a height that goes up the outer face of the pyramids. Trace that with me. From the base, sliding up the top as if you're sliding up a slide, that is called slant height because it's slanted. Think of it as the trajectory of a skier going down the side of a slope. That's called slant height. On your right pyramid, the slant height goes from the vertex and it hits the midpoint of one of the side of the bases. That would be slant height. The variable that's commonly used for slant height is going to be a Kurtzif L. Now there's another kind of height. There's the height that goes straight up the middle of the pyramid from the vertex down to the middle of the base. So I'm actually going to dot it here because technically you can't see that, but imagine a pole going right down the middle of this pyramid. It's 
sticking right down the middle and it hits the bottom, the base at a right angle. That is called the true height or the altitude. On the right hand side, we're going to trace it here, vertex, and it smacks the base right at the middle and hits it at a right angle. This is called the true height, also known as the altitude. Take a moment, repeat to yourself out loud what is the difference between the slant height and the true height. Talk about it on your own. About 30 seconds. What's the difference there? Okay, using this information, let's go ahead and relate in a prism. Let's pull this down to a prism. And bring this up to a pyramid. Okay, in a prism, let's recap. The prism, the lateral area is perimeter, trace it, perimeter times height, pH, perimeter times height. That is the lateral area of a prism. The surface area is whatever the lateral area is plus you have the area of two bases. One, two. We use a capital B for area of the base. That's surface area. It's the lateral area plus two bases. Volume, of course, is the area of one base times the height. So that's a review for a prism. Perimeter times height is lateral area. Lateral area plus two bases is the prism for a surface area. And then base times height if your volume. Okay. In a pyramid, you're going to lose both area. So when you go from here, you're going to lose something. And volume, you're going to lose something because you're coming to a point. And what you lose, what fractions involved, is based on the dimensions. Area is a 2D concept. Volume is a 3D concept. So watch very carefully how we build these equations. A pyramid, for the lateral area, you start with the perimeter of the base. So trace that. And we write perimeter. But we're going to change it up because now we have two different kinds of heights. Remember, you have two different kinds of heights now. We have what's called the slant height, which is down the side. Trace that with me. We use the variable L. I'm doing that in purple. And then we have what's called the true height, which, like the prism, smacks at a right angle. Put your right angle in there. That's the true height, and we use H. True height here, we use H. So for the pyramid, you start with the perimeter times the height. However, we use slant height for area because it's an outside concept. Area is around the outside of the pyramid, so we're going to use slant height. And then we're going to lose area because we come to a point and how much we lose area is going to be a fraction of two. So two dimensions, we're going to divide by two. So for a pyramid, our lateral area is perimeter times slant height over two. And surface area is 
the same thing as this, except instead of two bases, we're down to just one. So we have lateral area plus only one base. And use capital B for area of. Volume, again, you start with area of the base. And now we use that inside true height because volume is an inside concept, so base times height. But once again, we lose volume because we're coming to a point. So we're going to divide here by a fraction because volume is three dimensions. We're going to divide by three. So for a pyramid, it's going to be for lateral area, perimeter times slant height over two. Surface area is the lateral area plus only one base. Volume, base times height over three. In a cylinder and a cone. Cylinder and a cone. Let's pull this down to a cylinder. And a cone. In a cylinder, the lateral area, you go around like that. It is perimeter, but instead of calling that perimeter, we call it circumference. And then there would be your height. Smacks at a right angle. So for lateral area, it's circumference times height. Surface area is the lateral area plus the area of two. We have bases. Remember, that's area of the base. So we use a capital B. And volume is area of the base times the height again. That's for a cylinder. OK, for a cone, let's build this. We start with, for lateral area, we start with circumference. But we don't use the true height for the area. We use this outer slant height for area, because area is an outside concept. So we're going to use circumference times slant height. And remember, you're going to lose area because you're coming to a point. And when we're in two dimensions, so it's going to be circumference times slant height over 2. because you lose area. So the fraction that you lose is you divide by 2. Circumference times slant height over 2. Surface area is whatever the lateral area is plus now only one base. Capital B means area of. Volume is the area of the base times the true height, because volume is an inside concept. But we lose volume here because we come to a point, And in a 3D object, when you go from a cylinder to the cone, you're going to divide by 3 when you're dealing with volume. So this seems pretty overwhelming, the amount of equations, but if you can just take a couple simple observations here. One, for the prism and the cylinder, these are the exact same equations, except here we use perimeter and here we use circumference. That's the only difference. And for the pyramid and cone, these are the exact same equation. But again, the only difference is we use perimeter of the base here, and here we use circumference. So you're really only memorizing one set and just doubling. But it is important that you have these memorized. OK, 
Okay, let's put this to practice. I think this will be easier to understand how to use it if you put it into practice. So here's this memorized sheet. We have pyramids here and cones here. We're going to make reference to this for the next two problems. We're going to follow the same six steps as we did before. Shade, trace, perimeter, base, equations, circle, plug, chug. Shade, trace, perimeter, base, equations, circle, plug, chug. So taking a look here, step one, we're going to shade and trace the base. Here's our base. Bases are a little bit easier to see because there's only one of them. So we shade it and then we trace it. And as you trace, always put a little arrow that tells your brain you're walking around. Shade and trace the base. Check. Now we're going to find the perimeter of the base. So that's our P. So we walk it around. We have 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. So that's 4 times 6. So our perimeter is going to be 24 centimeters. Check. Area of the base is simply a, a square, so it's 6 times 6, so the area of the base is going to be 6 squared, which is, of course, 36 centimeters squared. So now we have our P and B. Now this, it's very critical that you make sure you have both heights here, because if you look really carefully, I'm going to blow this up so you can see it, you don't have both heights here. Okay, we have, we're given the slant height for 5, right here. 5 is the slant height. Trace it, goes down the face of the pyramid, that's why it's darkened. What you are missing, so we have the slant height, that's 5. What we're missing is our true height, that's the height down the middle. Down the middle, smacks at the middle, at a right angle. That's our true height, and we're missing it. So before we do anything else, we need to find it. But see, you have a right angle there. Really important that you see this. You can create a right triangle. So pull that together. So take a look here. We now have a right triangle. Up the slant height, down, excuse me, up the true height, down the slant height, and across. You have a right triangle. So we're going to solve for the height there, our true height. Let's pull this out so you can see it. This is 5. This is what you want. We'll call it x. Now from here to here, squiggle. Squiggle that. Now come over here. Go from the middle to the edge. Squiggle. You should see that that length right there, this length right there, is half of 6, so it's 3. Now we're going to solve. 3 squared plus x squared equals 5 squared. Okay, so our true height, if you follow the Pythagorean theorem, our true height here is going to be 4. So, shade, trace, perimeter, base, equations, circle, plug, chug. Let's go ahead and work through our equations now. Now that we have both the true height and the slant height. For our lateral area, it's going to be perimeter times the slant height over 2. So it's perimeter times the slant height over 2. Surface area is the lateral area plus 1 base. So it is whatever the lateral area is plus 1 base. And volume is base times the height divided by 3 because it's 3 dimensions.
Now we circle plug chug. We have most of our answers already. Ready? Circle the P. Come up, pick up the P. Our perimeter here is 24. Circle the slant height. Come over here, pick up the slant height. 5 over 2. So here we're going to go, 2 goes in here 12 times, 5 times 12 is 60, and it's going to be centimeters squared. That's our LA. Now circle the LA and put an arrow over here for our surface area. We need that lateral area, so we're going to go 60 plus the area of a base, and we have our base already. It's going to be 36. So our LA plus the base, we add them up and we get 96 centimeters squared. Volume is area of the base times the height. Area of the base, which we already have, circle it, pick it up. This is why you find it ahead of time. 36 times, now you have to pick up the true height for volume. Four over 3. If you can cancel, you can, which we can. We can go 3 goes into 36 12 times. 12 times 4 is 48. And then check your units. It's going to be centimeters cubed. We're going to do one more problem together. I think we need more practice. We're going to use a cone this time. We're going to follow these same six steps. Shade, trace, perimeter, base, equations, circle plug, chug. So step number one, we want to shade and trace the base. So here is the base. Shade and trace. Shade, trace, perimeter, base. We're going to find the perimeter, but remember, in a circle, our perimeter is technically the circumference. So C equals D pi. Write that down. Now we're given our diameter is already here, 18, so we're just going to write 18 pi. So C equals 18 pi centimeters box that, we're going to be coming back to it. Shade, trace, perimeter, base. Our base area here, of course, is pi r squared. So let's circle plug chug, circle the radius. Come over here, trace the radius. Remember, don't trust your eyeballs. Physically pick this up. Your radius is 9. So we have 9 squared times pi, so our area of our base, of course, is 81 pi centimeters squared. Box that. We're going to come back to it. Notice I used B there. That means area of the base. Shade, trace, perimeter, base. Now, when you deal with cones and pyramids, always double check if that you have both the slant type and the true height. Let's look what we've been given. We've been given this. Trace it. Now, I would like you to label that. Take about 10 seconds on your own. Is that the true height or is that the slant type? I'd like you to label. True height or slant height? 10 seconds. Okay, this 12 here is the true height, so it's the H, which means your slant height is right here. We don't have it, but we need it. So I'm going to pull out this triangle here, right here, pull it out. 
slant height, we don't know. True height is 12. So we're going to pull it out and figure out that slant height. That's 9. That's 12. That is our unknown slant height. Pythagorean theorem. 9 squared plus 12 squared equals unknown squared. Eighty-one, one forty-four equals unknown squared. This is two twenty-five equals unknown squared. The square root. You should recognize that as a perfect square. That slant height there is fifteen. Now that you have the slant height and the true height, you're ready for your equations. The lateral area for a cone is going to be circumference times slant height over 2. Surface area is whatever the lateral area is plus the area of one base, capital B. Volume, base times the true height over 3. Ready? Circle plug chug. Circle circumference. Come up here, pick up circumference. You have 18 pi. Circle slant type. Pick up the slant height, 15, over, circle the 2, put down the 2. Now you can reduce, since it's all multiplication, 2 goes in here 9 times, 9 times 15, you can do it this way, 9 times 10 is 90, and then you can go like this. 9 times 5 is 45. So 90 plus 45 is 135. So your lateral area is going to be 135 pi, check your units, centimeters squared. Now if you want to turn that into a decimal, you're welcome to. I like to just leave it in pi form most of the time. Now surface area, let's bring up that lateral area right there. You already have 135 pi. Circle the base. Come up here, circle the base. Plug it in. This is going to be 81 pi. So in the margin, 135 plus 81, that's a 6. That's going to be an 11, carry the 1. And we get 216 pi centimeters squared. So we have 216 pi centimeters squared for the surface area. Volume is going to be area of the base, circle base. Pick up the base, it's 81 pi. Circle height, pick up the height, times 12 over 3. 3 goes in here 4 times. And do 4 times 81, that's 4. That's 32. So we have 324 pi centimeters cubed is our volume. It is absolutely positively critical that you have this memorized. That's why I gave you a practice memorization sheet. 
Have this memorized for your upcoming quiz.